What's up guys, it's your boy Demon, aka Demotivational, and welcome to another video. Today I want to tear apart my team and talk about some mistakes and judgment that I made um, when putting together my speed team um, that's kind of pushed me into a wall, okay? Now the beautiful thing about walls is that they force you to find a way either over them, through them, around them, whatever, and I feel like this error in my ways can help you guys a lot, especially when you try, guys are trying to optimize your speed team. This is something simple that you guys can really, really look at um, to really, really clean up your team and make it more efficient. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna manual a run. Uh, I'm gonna talk about some, some very key stats. I'm also gonna provide you guys a link in the description box that can help you uh, really understand what the stats of the monsters in the game are. Uh, I found this post on Reddit. Um, just typed in, I don't know, dungeon stats and this like popped up on Reddit from like two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm going to provide this link to you guys. There's some stats on here though, like con, like, which I don't, I guess con is HP, but I don't, I don't really know what the ratio is there. Um, but everything else is all the stats that you need. Okay. So we're looking at this run. We're just going to go ahead and just blow through this. I'm going to tell you guys the wall that I ran into, um, with my said team here. Boop. Okay, all right, so this is the biggest sticking point. When you guys are looking at Speed Giants, Speed Giants is about three things, okay? Wave clear, mid boss clear, end boss clear. Now, the wall that I'm running into now is not necessarily, well, I mean, it's a little bit of my damage, like, because sometimes my Lucians are unable to clear waves without buff, so that's just something that I have to improve, you know, over time with runes. But there is a big miscalculation that I made um, when starting to put these together. I pulled my Lucian on December 1st, and there's one factor that I didn't take into consideration. Um, back in the day, on my second account, when I used to run um, double Lucian, I ran double Lucian with Bernard. Okay, So Bernard increases the speed of your team, and he increases the attack bar, which guarantees them a turn. So now, getting into this, like running with Lucians, okay? no Bernard, no speed, no nothing, um, I... I grossly miscalculated <laughs> uh, what it was going to take in order to get there. Now, granted, my fastest runs right now are 47 seconds, which is great, but the problem is is that they can be faster, and I'm not there for a couple of reasons, okay? Well, specifically one reason. Now, that one reason is when I looked at uh, these compositions, I figured, A, I'll just blow them through this whole thing with a million damage, and which can be effective. If you deal enough damage, then it really doesn't matter because... Yeah, it just doesn't matter. Like, for instance, if I had a 250% crit damage solution, I mean, you probably, you know, with like 3,000 attack, you'd probably be blowing through all the stuff and it wouldn't matter. But if you do not have that, then there's a couple of mechanics that you have to take into consideration. Uh, one of which is, which what's extremely weird, is when you look at wave one, wave two, um, they're really slow. For instance, like, we'll talk about that right now. Um, Giants wave one. Okay, the speed on wave one is only 90 speed. Okay, 90 and 99. Okay, for both for all the units. Okay, so crystals at 90, golems at 99. Okay, so you're going first. Now the root awakening is when you get to wave three, which the golem on the left is 133 speed. The golem in the middle, um, excuse me, sorry, my fault. I'm looking at the wrong sets. Wrong stats. I was looking at dragons. My fault. Uh, but sorry, Giants Keep Wave 1, uh, 90 speed. Yeah, yeah, 90 speed, 99. And then Wave 3 for Giants Keep. Sorry, the golem on the left is 140 speed. Um, the mid, the boss himself is 136, and the golem on the right on wave three is also 140 speed, okay? So if you guys have noticed this in your collection of frustration, is when you guys start to do this, if you, if you're, any of your, your damage dealers per se, not just supports, because your supports are probably faster than this, but if you're wave clear, so like if you're running double Lucian, if you're running whatever, Pung Bake, whatever um if those units are slower than 140 what's going to happen is the mid boss and the golems are going to go before those units and then you have a potential freeze on your hands now in those situations over time like if the bosses are or enemies at the mid boss or the golems are freezing your team essentially getting a turn they're potentially slowing I'm, and i'm guesstimating on this they're potentially slowing, slowing your rundown anywhere from five to 25 seconds depending on what's going on. I mean, there's some other variables in there like if uh, Galleon lands Death Brick or not, but the reality is, is if 
the mid boss unit gets a turn or whatever, then you slow your run down significantly, okay? Because like I said, it's broken down into a couple of parts here. Lynn died. This is probably a wipe. <laughs> but um, it's, it's broken down into a couple of parts where it's about wave clear or a few parts wave clear mid boss clear and then end boss clear and that's pop that's one of my biggest sticking points right now is that um i don't have my my wave clear basically my lucians right now to the point where i need them now under, now let, let's break down how to get this 140 speed to kind of just like fix this whole thing um essentially because it's 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 driving me up a wall uh, but to fix this whole thing essentially all i would have had to do was when i looked at my my runes and i started to build my units i would have had to just make sure that i had 6.2 speed essentially or seven speed on each rune if i wanted to split it up between six runes or i can maximize on one rune and put the required amount of speed on you know a couple like let's say 18 on three runes and then just run the rest raw damage right so but that's the big thing if you make sure um, that you're still hitting the stats that you need, like these stats right here are enough for me to clear waves without buff, um, but now I'm just short about 20 speed, okay? Right, 20? Yeah, about 20, 19 speed right now. So with the 19 speed, essentially, like I said, guys, the 42 speed or the 40 speed split up between all six runes is roughly about six speed per. Um, and then again, like, an easy way to do this is when you guys start looking for your runes, um, or if you guys are, are currently trying to transition from a safe team to a speed team, this is something that you guys can take into consideration to definitely help you out, okay? Because if you move before the wave, especially if you guys are running Lucians, um, that can dramatically increase your time because then if Lucian uses Ant Magic on that wave, then essentially he's going to uh, clear the golems out and then now all you have to deal with is the mid boss does that make sense so that's something that i'm working on now and i wanted to share that with you guys um to kind of give you a heads up as to you know the pitfalls as i go through as i continually and fine tune and fine tune and fine tune and really get this team to where i want it to be before we move to the next phase okay so now um if you guys are looking for those stats that i mentioned um, before like with the, the the dungeons and stuff i'll include the link in the info box below please 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 take it upon yourself check those stats out because then you can look at your dragons runs giants runs you can look at the speed of the other dungeons toa etc um and really understand uh if understand how and why you're not going first so you can get those stats that you need and then continue to to grow and push so with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your boy, Damone, a.k.a. Motivational, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.